Alright, so recently I've been getting a few messages or my old video PSP tutorial GPSP I think cheats has been getting getting a lot of attention. And some people have asked me, you know, how do you play games off your memory stick or how do you get custom firmware on your PSP on my PSP? Now the new PSP Go uh Sony ditched the UMD format and went for the P the memory stick format. So you pretty much play games off your memory stick. So if you have the PSP Go, this doesn't concern you pretty much. <laughs> this only concerns the people that have owned the previous PSPs, which is the 1000, aka the original, the 2000, the Slim, and the 2000, the one with the built-in mic. So I've only worked on the 1000 and 2000 series. So if you have the 2000, look somewhere else because I'm not sure how that works. So anyways. In order to get custom firmware on your PSP, I don't know if they have a new way, but this is pretty much the standard or uh, not official way, but the standard way of getting custom firmware on your PSP. This this is the PSP Slim battery. Let me take out the tape. I have a separate battery just for a regular battery. This is my Pandora's battery. They call it the Pandora's battery, which pretty much lets it run custom firmware or install custom firmware on your PSP. So I'm gonna take out the tape for a few seconds. So you have to see clearly. Yeah, I have tape all over this. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. A uh, glare. So this is the 3.6 volt 1200 milliamp PSP slim battery. Now make sure you have this battery because this is the tutorial on this um exact battery. So hopefully you guys have the same ones. So let me open this up. First off, you gotta have to cut it open, okay? Now and how can I let me get the tape I'll be right back okay and I'm back finally got the tape off now first off you're gonna have to cut it open okay now as you can see there's like a groove all around the battery so if you have patience or you're gonna need patience in order to do this on your own battery you need to get a knife or a sharp edge something like that and pretty much start indenting through the grooves and make sure you're very careful it takes a long it takes a while especially in this section right here where the pins are you need to be careful or you might damage the board inside or touch the or cut the battery itself so be patient and you'll get through it and eventually it'll open like this okay now if you don't want to take the risk they do sell Pandora's batteries I don't know if they're still on sale maybe possibly on eBay or there's probably some official stores out there but just Google it, you know, Google is your best friend. So once you cut it open, it should be like something like this, okay? So here's the motherboard or the chip, whatever you want to call it. So be careful and flip it open, okay? Now we're getting into detail, so let me try to get a close up. Okay, I'm trying to get this into focus. Hopefully, you guys can see this, okay? Now, if you see, there's an indent right there, there's a cut right there. Come on, there you go. Should be a deep cut right there. My hand is shaking because it's trying to get it to focus. Okay? Now get your knife or whatever and make that same as exact indent. Make sure it's right there. It's that big old bloat. Uh, let me get a. Hold on. Let me get a pencil. It'll be easier to point out. Uh, here we go. Okay. The way I'm showing you guys how to do it, it's reversible. So you change this back to a regular battery and use the same battery to play with. Okay? Come on, okay, let's, let's get this to focus. Come on. Okay, here we go. This is kind of hard. I'm a left righty, so. Come on, focus. Okay, here we go. Come on. That line right. Ah, this is hard. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. It's that line right there. That thick bolted dark line right there okay that's the cut I made okay you cut it with your knife not no, no longer than that okay you just need to cut this through this circuit wire right here okay so make that dark dent right there now if you did it correctly close it up pretty much Okay, close it up, and you know, you pop the cover back on, what's, whatever. 
you put in your PSP, okay? This should work with the fat PSP too. I mean like the original PSP. Okay. It doesn't fit perfectly, but you have to just hold on to it pretty much with your hand. And once you boot up your PSP, you should have a black screen and the power button should just be on. I mean the power light sh indicator should just be on. That means you've done it correctly, so you got yourself a Pandora's battery. If your PSP still boots into a regular PSP, then you did it wrong. So just cut it a little deeper, not too much, don't overdo it. Okay? And that's pretty much it, you got yourself a Pandora's battery. You know? And all the other steps are separate. I've done another video on that, you guys should check it out. I'll post the link right here. Okay? It's not too in depth, but it should pretty much get you started off. If you have any questions, just you know, post them below, post the comments below, and I'll pretty much answer them. Now, again, um, I haven't said this yet, but I should say this. I'll put a a notice in the beginning of the video. I am not responsible if you screw up your PSP. Okay, do this on your own time and on your own will. You know, if you don't want to take the the risk, you might brick your PSP. Pretty much make your PSP turn into a brick, useless. I I, I brick the PSP before. Okay. It was my friends, but luckily I knew how to unbreak it, and I just redid it, and it worked fine the second time. So make sure you know the consequences, and if you do break it, there are ways to unbreak it. So don't panic too much. Just Google Google is your best friend. That's what I did. No one taught me. You know, I just looked around, and I pretty much figured it out. So yeah, this is my Pandora's battery. I never reversed this back because it started leaking. So I recommend you know buying a separate battery. I wouldn't live too long on this same because I reused this Pandora so you know I retraced the line recut it a lot of times to put custom firmware on my friends other PSPs like seven or eight of them so this battery became worn out so if you're gonna do this, do this once on a battery I wouldn't recommend doing it twice or more because it c starts to kill the battery so I have to buy a new battery so this is just kept as a Pandora's battery in case I want to you know put custom firmware on another PSP in the future or what so or what not. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And you guys have any question again, post them below and I'll make sure to answer them. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching.